Hi, I'm Rob Zip, and I am at the Marriott West Chase here in the west side of Houston for the Houston Horror Film Festival Horror What's Convention. Up? Come along and join me on the most epic adventures. All right, I just met one of my subscribers. He saw me while I was making my intro. We're gonna walk in. This is the side entrance here. It's windy out here. Houston Horror Film Festival Horror Convention. Let's see what kind of horrible people we see. There it is. The brochure for today. These special guests, vendors, panels, film screenings. My backpack opens up the yeah. special <laughs> events, special event, there's the sponsors. There are a lot of people here today. A lot, uh, a lot more than, a lot more than last year. It seems like people dressed up as you do. It's the main hotel lobby, the Marriott West Chase. I don't think this is the same hotel that was at last year. Looks a little different. I don't know. All right, Julio, what's happening? What's up? We, 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 you know, you go to the Dynamo Games. We saw you on the post video as well. We're having another not been, not Dynamo yeah. adventure. I think I was in the post video too. Post yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm following you. You you got here before me, so you know the you know the lay of the land. Hey. So I can just do I can just hold my phone like this. So like hashtag hashtag walk in here. There's Bo. Hey Bo. Good to see you. He always likes to dress up as Deadpool. That's his thing, yeah. yeah free, stain, free Stranger Things photos. What's your favorite horror movie, Julio? My favorite horror movie? Uh, I love horror comedies, so Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, that's a good one. Shaun of the yeah, Dead. I like horror comedies too. Anything Peter Jackson. Uh, I mean, you know, he did the Lord of the Rings, yeah. of course. There you go. But um, Dead Alive. Dead Alive. Yeah. Meet the Feebles. Um, what was the first one? Um, Brain, no, no, Brain Dead. Brain Dead was also Dead Alive. Was the second, yeah. the other name. Um, the, the, where there were the aliens. Bad taste. Bad taste. Where they ate bomb. Here we are. So here we are in the. Uh, the vendor, the vendor area. Oh, and the and the celebrities. So I got to be careful with the celebrities. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold my phone like this down here. Be a little low key. A little low key. This is the elementary school. There's Danielle Harris over there. She's in some Halloween movies. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of people here crammed into a hotel ballroom. The shirts. It's funny seeing some of the seeing a lot of the same people that we saw at Comic Palooza and you'll see at like the Texas Renaissance Festival and I guess it's like a circuit. <laughs> It's just like the Venn diagrams are very closely yeah. on top of There's one a another. Lot of, uh, a lot of crossover. <laughs> yeah. There's some cool toys here. That props them. Axes. All props are for sale. Pick me up. One hundred to one hundred to one hundred and thirty dollars. How's it feel? That's got some half to it. Huh? That's got some half to it. Oh, really? Yeah. Does it feel like a real axe? Yeah, I've got a question. Just browse it. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I was just trying to see, like, how... They've got some pretty good half to them. Three pounds. That's a very nice. Some of them. Flex phone 17 head. We make them the same architectures for movies, theme parks, and attractions. But we had to have a wood handle. 
Yeah. We tried everything. Dowels. It doesn't like, work. It doesn't look right. It makes it feel real. <laughs> well, there's, there's a little bit of weight. That's cool. But yeah, pretty neat. Wow. Not bloody knives. The hook from Candy Candyman. Yeah, I don't have Shutter anymore, so I can't. I don't know who this person is. They, from the Conjuring series, they didn't conjure shit. Michael Myers and Chucky, best friends forever. We have some official media. Dicey from the Sex and Horror podcast. What are you doing here today? Having a blast, looking at all the wonderful costumes. This is where we can be crazy and wild and everybody just kind of gives a thumb up instead of looking at it like it's something wrong or something taboo or something that's um, out of the norm. Like here, everything's accepted. I mean, that's legal, of course. But <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no you go in real, the hotel rooms yeah, for the other there's stuff. There's no real <laughs> weapons, but, you know, pan over here. We do have oh, yeah. the props. So yeah, yeah. So there's no better place to be, especially if you love horror, if you love costumes, if you love meeting uh, filmmakers that are in this business. You want to come here. You want to meet people who love the same thing. So you are surrounded with like minds. Yeah. If you have not been here, you need to. You still have the rest of the day. You have tomorrow. You can also come and see some of the films. Uh, it is a film festival, so come check out people who have been in the business for a while. They might be indie or just starting out, but you know everybody's welcome. So just come with a great attitude, ready to have fun. All right, and check out the Sex and Horror podcast yes. wherever podcasts can be found. That's right. The celebrities and the vendors in the same area, and they got it split up. They got it split up. They mix it together. There's the people that come for like the collectibles and the shopping, and there's other people who come for the select, and that would kind of have that crossover. Is that it, or is that the? Is that's that, the. That's the one we just came from. Yeah. Ultra <laughs> guys club. We got of the fallen right here. Selling some merchandise. What are you guys doing here? We have a clothing company, bro. What? Since yeah. when? Since forever. Since about a year ago. Since a year ago? A year ago in September. How come I haven't known about this? July is when we started. July, yeah. Sorry. July. It's already been a year. There you go. So what, what is your company? Is this it? Pariah Clothing. Pariah Clothing. Yes, I'm going to take your card. Yeah, for sure. Grab a sticker, too. But here's the QR code. Why aren't you guys sponsoring my videos? I didn't know we could. Yeah. Web website's down to the end of the month. We'll be up at the end of the month. All right, but you're here today. Yep. You got yeah, some. Uh, you got some earrings. You'll we'll be here tomorrow. Yes, you got some shirts. Who's printing these shirts? Uh, we use various printers, but the next. Uh, after TikTok. The next I'm not on TikTok. That's not even spelled right either. Hey, Instagram. Good. I'm not on Instagram. Facebook. I'm not on. Right? I'm not on Facebook. I'm not on any of these. I don't do TikTok. So that's I'm not on any of these. But Wayne, Wayne's all about that Facebook Live. Yeah. Oh, social media stuff. Are you guys? Nah, we're we're going to start printing our own stuff really soon. What are you guys? Are you guys playing any shows coming up? Uh, the Kentucky, Kentucky I rate fest in August. Kentucky what? I rate fest in August. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys going to take me along with you to uh, be your vlogger? You got room in the middle? I don't know where room is. Oh come on! I can. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk. We'll talk. You got my all the T-shirts you could want. Cool. Yeah. Debbie Does Dallas. <laughs> Classic. A, a different kind of horror movie. <laughs> we have some live comic book artists here. Man Beast Art. All these are custom made. Uh, I hire drawing. What is he drawing? Can you tell what he's drawing? It's someone summoning. Okay, let's go. Oh, nice. Really cool, bright colors. Some more bright color art. Oogie Boogie. That one's sold. The glow in the dark. This guy's getting some, getting some tattoos right here on the convention floor from Chris Struve. Very, very cool. Everything looks 
on my camera everything's green it i don't know why it doesn't look like this green this is very very strange effect i'm here look at those skulls though zobie hey guys i used to get the zobie fright it was pretty cool yeah. cool stuff yeah well got a lot of the a lot of pops here to, but I have all the different enough. types of jason masks i don't remember him ever wearing a black one but it's still cool as hell i get i like that silver on it it's silver paint silver paint so like john wayne is dead but he's alive and he's he's an author and a musician and an over over all around swell guy How's the uh, how's the horror convention going? Houston Horror Film Festival, amazing, great, great convention. I love it. It's going awesome, and I'm happy to be back in Texas, home, seeing everybody. Where do you, do you live? Somewhere else now? I live in Las Vegas now, baby. Las Vegas. Yeah, I moved to Vegas. Oh man, I wish I would have known. I was out there a couple months ago. Oh, now you know. Now you have to come back and see me, man. Yeah. And I'll show you a real seedy underbelly in Vegas. Have you written about Vegas in any of your books yet? The next book, well, I have a Western that comes out in August. Okay. The book after that is um, a very, uh, it's a second person uh, Vegas adventure. All right. So for people, they can go to johnwayneisdead.com. Yeah. For check out his books. I mean, this is a thick boy right here. Oh, that's a thick boy right here. The Cadillac there. man. That, could, oh, that is almost yeah. like a Vegas story. That's a doorstop for you. Yeah, <laughs> for me. That was my pandemic, right? I wrote that over the pandemic. Gotcha, I gotcha. Awesome, man. Well, it's good to see you. Rob, a pleasure. Horror books. Let's do it. No mistaking. That's what it is. <laughs> awesome. Well, rock on, brother. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's an awesome what, name. All right, so, so John Wayne is also, he's also a punk rock dude. And I, yeah, I tell Metalhead, you can have punk rock every now and then as a treat, as a treat. But he just he just pulled out of his box the CD from an, a band, a prog metal band that you used to be in called yep. Letters to Voltron. Yep. I do. He asked if I had a CD player, so I'm like, yes, I do have one in my car. So I'll I'll give this a spin. Please. Omega Profit. That was our that was our company. How old was it? How old is this? There's not a date back here. 2012, maybe? 2012, okay, so like 10 years ago? Yeah, we probably forgot to put dates and credits. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's not That's fine. But yeah, this we used to like, the music is extremely complicated. Yeah. The lyrics are very funny. Like, okay. like the Ballad of Tammy Faye Baker, sure. Pussy Machine, <laughs> I Wanna Fuck You on the Dance Floor. It's classics, they're awesome. the classics right yeah. there. Yeah, so I'm sure you'll appreciate that. And Julio, you got a book? Oh, you, probably, you, got, you put it in the backpack? But he did, he did pick Wait, that up. Can you show the, the, yeah, he, he's like, <laughs> it is a legendary autograph you have. Well, if I'm gonna sign Look at that. I'm gonna sign it, you know? That that's that's a whole story right there. Yeah, look them up. <laughs> Death packs and left hand paths. John Wayne. Yep, I'll see you in hell. Commune Alley. <laughs> all the all the the Nick Cthulhu and Seymour. Sorry about that, bro. No, you're good. You're all good. Your autographed action figures here, and your non-autographed action figures you can go get autographed. So there you go. Hey, there's Ash. Stay, staying groovy. Look at this guy. No, nobody out shooting this guy. Six, six shooters. We just asked him. I was like, "Is this yours?" He's like, "Yeah." Well, I said, "This was was his," and he's like, "No, it's this one." <laughs> Making a mess over here, jeez, dirty people. A d dumb and summoning, oh, demon, demon summoning box. It's got a spirit inside. Spirit inside. So Julio, Julio, he he brought he he bought this book and brought me back to meet Susan McCauley, the author of such a book. Hi, Susan. How are you? How are you doing? Fantastic. What are you doing here at the Houston Horror Film Festival? Well, I'm a screenwriter and an author. And so I live in Houston, and I thought I have to check out the horror festival this year. So it's been a lot of fun. And what are your books about? Um, the Demon Taylor is a really twisted, disturbing book about a real-life serial killer from 16th century France who believed he was a werewolf. And his crimes were so horrific, they, he and his sister were burned at the stake for their crimes. So I took that um, 
that story and I fictionalize it from the point of view of one of his victims who survives. So it's really intense. And then The Devil's Tree is a ghost story uh, based on The Devil's Tree in New Jersey. But um, these four teens go to check out this tree. They get chased off the road by a phantom pickup truck. Two of the four get killed, start haunting their friends. And they gotta figure out why their friends are trapped here. So it's a paranormal mystery. Right. Ghost Hunters is a spooky, fun series, kind of like Goosebumps with Heart. Okay, so, so, so more like young adult yes, stuff. Okay. Yes. I love getting kids to read. It makes me so excited. Perfect. There, you got some great covers there too. Yeah, Look at that. That's a that's a YouTuber right there. <laughs> and this guy's coming out in January. Oh, so this is a, a sneak fantasy. peek. Yep. Oh, fantasy. There yep. we go. Awesome. Well, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And people can find out more about you. You're probably on Amazon. You have your own website. That's your. Yeah, Amazon, Barnes and & Noble, and I do lots of signings in Houston, some in Los Angeles. Houston and L.A. The, the two best coasts, coasts right there. And then you have a friend that does an Old Town Spring Ghost Walk. We might hear about more about that later. We've got this nice little atrium out here with the palm trees where people can come out here and do whatever you can't do inside. It's part of the nature portion of the podcast. That, that's right. Yeah. We're, we are enjoying nature. Palm trees are not native to Texas, but they're still lovely, and they do well here, obviously. But they got tables where people can leave their, their cigarette boxes behind, and, you know, nice place here. We don't know what's this way. There's a banner there, people walking this way. That's a pretty cool entrance way, though. Get this nice backdrop, you can get your photos. Oh, that's, that's all that's going on back here. People are taking photos. He's very still. Oh, because someone's taking a picture. I'm taking a moving picture, and he's not moving. Hey, look, it's dim and wet. They can get free hugs. All right, guys, my ride is here, so I'm taking off to my next event. Thanks for coming along with me to the Houston Horror Film Fest Horror Convention, and thanks for Julio for hanging out with me. Thanks, for, uh, thanks to John and Susan for talking to me about their books. And until next time, remember to drink water, listen to metal. Today I'm wearing a rave shirt. Enjoy nature and have the most epic adventures! Alright, here are the end credit scenes. Just walking back to my car. Parking here is pretty crazy. So they actually have this driveway closed off. I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but there's my car. I did put the sunshade up, did not crack my windows.